So I've been getting a lot of requests lately on how I do these origami wings. I use Coke de Leon and uh, you can use different types of feathers for this. I prefer Coke de Leon because of the thickness of the stem. So I've already pulled two feathers off. You can pull from the left side and then the right side. I just pull them both out of the middle or whatever. You know, I don't worry about going both sides. So you strip away all the fibers. I'm looking at the front of the feather. I strip all the fibers on the left side and then I strip away the fuzzy fibers that are on the right side. And that's what I'm left with. There's a couple little fibers up here. I don't worry about those. So, all you have to do is you grab it with a pair of tweezers. You don't have to use tweezers. It's just the way I prefer to do it. Get your fingers a little wet. And then you just preen those fibers. And that makes a little wing there. Okay, that would be for one side. And then you would do the same thing for the other side. So I'll demonstrate. So this time, I'm gonna pull off the right side of the feather. Now I'm taking all these fibers off. Yes, this is Coq de Leon, you can save the fibers. I have an entire cape here. I usually don't save the fibers. I'm very particular about uh, the Coq de Leon that I use for tails anyway. Now, this would be for the left side of the fly. Same process. You don't have to get your fingers wet if you don't want. All right. So then you have another wing. But if I'm going to tie this in, then obviously I'm going to pinch the wing down. Now, a lot of people I've seen, um, a lot of people find this method easier. I do not use this method, but, you know, to each its own. But this is an icing. This is for doing icing on cakes. So a lot of people will put the feather in there. And then they tie it onto the hook, you know. I just use my hands, uh, typically. So, yeah. Now we're going to demonstrate. Okay. So, like I said, I do it with my fingers. I don't use the tool. I just set it on top and I tie it in. Now, these do leave a lot of excess. So, when you go to cut this off, I mean, you really, really got to get as close as you can. That's why having a good pair of scissors like these Semperfly scissors, that's pretty paramount if I'm being honest. Okay, and I'll show you the other way as well. Okay, and then the other way would be using something like this. I don't like to do it that way because it rolls around like that. I don't like that. There's a more controlled way to do it. Yes, you can control it, but I just, I just feel like everything just gets all mixed up. That's why I tend to use my fingers. Now I'll show you the difference here. I mean, I, I think using fingers is so much easier. So if you're using your fingers, you put it up on there, you just grab it and you pull it down. And now you have a set of wings. And of course, you know, you can come in here and you can spread your wings however you prefer to do that. Right? And you know, these aren't a perfect set of wings. I'm not trying to make a perfect set of wings. I'm just doing a demonstration on how to actually do that. All right? And that's pretty much it for tying in those wings. That's the origami wings. Another cool thing about these wings is you can you can really do a lot of stuff with these. Um 
you can grab the wing and you can pull it and you can make notches now you can make several notches on one wing just by grabbing it and pulling it where you want it so then when you go to get it tied in you know you got different points now on your wing but yeah that's that's pretty much it if you guys have any other tips and tricks you'd like to learn please let me know thank you